Do you need a centralized location where you can monitor different reports across multiple QuickBase apps? If you do, keep watching to find out how. Welcome to QuickBase Junkie. I help QuickBase builders learn fast to deliver more. In this video, I'll show you how to turn a regular homepage into a multi-app dashboard. In this example, I have three different QuickBases, each of which have a report that I want to include on my multi-report dashboard. This is the homepage where I want to display the different reports from the different applications onto one dashboard. Now to get started, I'll want to grab the URL for the first report. So let me jump back into my lease management QuickBase. So I'll go ahead and copy the URL here and then return to my dashboard QuickBase. Now you can include this dashboard on any QuickBase you like as part of a home page. I just happen to use a new QuickBase in this example. I'll customize the home page. What I'm going to use here is our web page widget. I'll go ahead and click and drag the web page widget onto my dashboard so that I can begin customizing it. Now in this box, I'll enter that URL that I copied and I can click the little preview here. And you'll notice we're getting a whole lot more than just the report. And so there's a little trick that I want to share with you that you can add to the end of this URL. So at the very end of the URL, we're going to add an and IFV equals one. Now this actually sets the pixel offset that will hide that header. And so now you just have the report and the filters. Let's go ahead and continue and do this for our other two reports. Okay, now I've got all of the reports on a single dashboard here on the home page. Now, I want to make a quick note here. If you're having trouble with your reports showing up on this dashboard using this technique, it's possible that the iframes are turned off in your application. And so to get that fixed, go ahead and just submit a ticket to QuickBase and they can turn on the iframes. I found that this was the case with my own account. All right, now that we have everything set, we can save the changes. And you'll notice one other thing that we now have that we don't have on regular dashboard reports. We have the dynamic filters here on the left hand side. So we can use these filters just as we would as if we were working directly off of the page, which is pretty nice for your home page or your dashboard to be able to use these filters. We can also minimize this to have more room for our report. And of course, we can also modify the arrangements of the items on your dashboard. I just did them sequentially, but we could easily move these so we can have these on the same level. And now you have reports from multiple QuickBases all on one dashboard for easy viewing without having to go into each of the separate applications. Plus, you also have access to the dynamic report filters, which is an added bonus. If you learned something new, please like this video, and to get your regular QuickBase Junkie fix, subscribe to QuickBase Junkie on YouTube or visit QuickBaseJunkie.com.